I love my hands are like bowls. Whether I'm in Australia playing with my Dreamline XGs or playing in the Northern Hemisphere winning two gold medals with my Tiger Bowls, I know I feel confident and comfortable with the line and I know they'll get the job done. The Morwell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morwell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road. Morning everyone. Welcome to the Morwell Bowls Club. Day eight, Gus. Hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> Hard to believe. Day eight of the uh, Hence Light Victorian Open for 2023. This is our knockout stage of singles before we move to finals weekend. On the mat at the moment. The great Anne Miles. We've got two living legends here, I think. This is, a, this is just an honour to be here, to, to commentate this match. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and they've, they've started well. And Anne's opponent, who's just jumping on the mat now, Gail McKenzie. Well, if there's royalty in, down this way, Gail's it. We couldn't even list, I don't think we could even list their achievements in the game, really. No, I did think about doing a running sheet. And, mm. uh, Take up too much time. That's right, I didn't have enough room. Mm. But you'll see from their, um, you'll see from this game why they're so good. And we're going to learn a lot today. Both players bowling with uh, Henselight XGs. Ball of choice. Both look like they're electing to go down the the other side from us, the non ditch side. For those viewers who watched yesterday's great match. We've actually moved the rinks over a little bit, so this is the closest we've been to the ditch. Almost feel like we're in the game here. I know. Mark in today's match is Lorraine Dawson. Gus? Speaking of legends, our ITO. Yeah. And she's got paddles, which will help us out, Gus. Yep. So we'll get a bit of a look, because we can't quite see exactly what's happening down there. But we'll get a bit more of a look about who's holding what. Great bowl here for Gale. Oh, gets the jack over. What a grouping. <laughs> Straight to work for Anne. Yeah, holding four now. Mm. Four paddles go up. So Gail's got the yellow paddles. Anne will have the green. Now, tough shot because you're switching on. To, no, she's going to stay on the forehand. She. She had a chance to switch across, but I think that would have been a bit of guesswork, I reckon. Well, she's played three already on the on the on her she forehand. She can't get down that. Uh, okay, look. She's taken one out. Maybe two out. Oh, I wouldn't have thought so, Gus. I think that's going to be a three to Gale. Great way to start. It was like she race conceded. 21. It's almost like she conceded, you know, just to try and cut it back. Um, it's a three. three. Yeah. It's not the start you'd like, but if you're going to drop a three, probably drop on the first end's probably 
the best time. Gives you a lot of time to catch up, to get it back. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday. So we had sectional play yesterday. We had three great games on the live stream. Um, what do you do once you drop a, a four or a three? You need to get straight back. Matt's quite a little bit up here, Gus. Yep. Didn't see this yesterday. Jack on the tee. No, it's not. It's not a something I see. I saw with the men yesterday. I didn't see a lot. They like to keep the tee free for the for the respot. Gail's right on it again. Yeah, great start there for Gail. Oh, First bowl point. pressure is everything in singles. Talking about singles, how'd you go yesterday, Gus? Uh, I obviously didn't get through your section because you're with me today. I was pretty happy. I, 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 I won one of my games pretty well and, and competed against a you know, state rep. I got to 14. Probably could have been a bit close than that, but as I was saying to Maddie before, I keep dropping numbers. They don't help in singles. Two oh. falls, mate. Kill you. Oh, what a bowl. Yeah, what a reply from there. Miles. Our conditions, we were down at the beautiful, uh, down, down uh, where were we yesterday at, uh, you know, I've just, it's escaped me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were Merbourne North. No, it no? did start with him. Um, Mafra? Mafra, sorry. Mafra, and uh, beautiful town. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. It really, I'm going to take some time to come down again. And just go for a drive around the place and just have a bit of a closer oh, look. Kale. What a bowl. <laughs> just switch across and do that. They haven't taken any time to adjust no. to this green. Right on it, right from the start. There's your mate on the socials there, Tommy Ristick. Morning, Tommy. Morning, Tom. I did say to Brad Lancaster, he asked as soon as he beat me, he said, now you will mention me on the... Live stream, won't you? So, Brad Lancaster, Brad Lancaster. You've just been mentioned. You've just been mentioned. <laughs> Good luck in the uh, upcoming country versus city. It's coming up for the those aspiring for state. Yep. Good home there for for Anne. Do we expect Anne to play a different shot with the next Gus? Yeah, she'll. Sw I I, th I would think she'd switch across, but. And knows better about reading the head than me. Yeah. Maybe Gail looked to just get a little bit past her two bowls. Maybe even get to Anne's last bowl. I'd only switch across because you've got a couple of bowls to, to use. Yeah. And this bowl's going to say oh. something about what she does. That's probably definitely going to make her mind up now. Bowl down. Didn't elect to change. Just looked to. Oh. Did she switch? I missed that. No, she didn't. And did not elected not to switch. Played the same hand. Gail thinks this is a little bit quick. I don't know about you, Maddie, in your, but you do come into a singles game with a, with a plan, and there's nothing you hate more than changing that plan on the second end. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You feel like you're letting it go. Yeah. yeah. But you've got to go with the flow. I have a game plan, and I, then I just completely forget about it. And then I realise, oh, geez, I've got a game plan here, and I'm not even thinking about it. You know. Well, and she's changing thinking. hands here, going to the forehand. So she 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 wants to come off that outside bowl there and well, use that. Well, no, get the jack back. And use that to get down onto the shot bowl, jack back. Yep. 
proppy. She doesn't want to play huge no, weight. No. Because that's a toucher, isn't it? Correct. She's not playing big weight. I'm not sure that that weight's enough. It might be. Oh, it's not the right line. No. Yeah, you're right. I, that was good weight for it, actually. Yeah, it actually ended up being very good. I reckon these girls might have played each other a few times. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna confess to something here. Earlier, I thought I was talking to Ann Miles, but it was Gail Mackenzie. I've, they look alike. Yeah, they, they could be, you know. Well, I I think they could be sister like, you know. Two lovely ladies. <laughs> and then and then Ann came in later on. I'm like, oh, oh. Like, oh. <laughs> did she change? <laughs> I thought she had changed clothes. Mm. Ah. Oh. I think after a week here, what are we, the day seven, eight? Day eight. Day eight. Um, you know, everyone sort of morphs into each other a little bit. <laughs> I wonder where the gale has been. I'm trying to think of the word. What's going on? Oh, okay. Jack in the ditch. She went Man's to kick the mat. balls up, now they're kicking them back. She didn't think that she'd do that. We saw that twice in our game three yesterday. Right. And it actually um, impacted the game, I think. Michael Stevenson um, really jumped on the, the uh, jack going into the ditch, chose his length and got a four straight away. Well, that happened to me. I put the kid in the ditch about three or four times um, in my first game and on one of those I dropped a four and you've only got yourself to blame. As far as I know, I was the only one out there playing. <laughs> oh, we've got some other games going on. There's, there's, there's just a, heaps of talent here today. We're more we've more actually got all rinks being used this morning on mm. both greens. Great to see the rain has stopped Gus and the, we can actually see the hills, which is good. Got Tristall and next door playing uh, uh, Doolan Abraham. Yep. Doolan's up 2-1. I will at some stage, that's Janelle, she's playing. Janelle. Yeah. Um, I will at some stage uh, go next door and get some score updates. I can see Leonie Flynn again. She's had a good Vic Open. Yep. Playing Lindy Borton from Killaw. She looks totally different today in her winter sort of stuff than she did the other day when we commentated. You'd know Sophia. Yeah, Sophia Jing is uh, is made. Of, now she's a she's a relatively new bowler. Came to uh, Yarraville this year. Uh, been a great uh, city of Melbourne. Yeah, came from city of Melbourne, and um, uh, she's come to sort of try and further opportunities with us, and she's really making great headway. Played her in the triples the other week, and she did very, very well. These new bowlers scare me. They, they really do. I think these two bowlers scare me. The yeah, way they're bowling. Yeah. My last date today, Maddie. Going home. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing the family. I did a bit of a mad dash last night, actually. Yep. Two. Two. Yeah, went home and came back this morning. Oh. It's been a long, long Vic Open. I think our effects mic is uh, playing up a little bit, Gus. Yes, just to give a bit of background ambience. You've played on this green, Gus. Tell us about it. Yeah, we played on this green. I had two games on this green, one in the, on the TV rink in the triples. Which is not the same rink we're playing on today. It's not. It was over a bit. I just get... 
the girls are favouring the side away from us that they, they, they must feel because we've moved closer I think um, there'll be less wear on that um, I'm not sure whether that would make it turn more or, or less um, but sometimes when you're playing on a ditch rink you, you like to go the open side it's just a psychological thing maybe but as I said both sides will probably be a little bit different and just resetting herself, one of the spectators decide to get up and move. I mean, on this ditch rink side, you'd, people are not walking up and down the very edge of it a lot, whereas they are walking the other side. And that can make a difference. Yeah, we're not right on the ditch. No. We've probably got a good metre and a half. Let's have a look what this bowl does. Well, it does generally swoop from this side, Gus. Yep. Great effort. Yeah, we've been able to get a lot of people on the uh, on, on ringside this week. Uh, yeah, it's everywhere been, been you're fantastic. Some of them have enjoyed the experience more than others, I think. Well, the general impression when you go up to them and, and get do a little bit of research is, why am I playing on this live stream? But a lot of them do not want to play on the live stream. No. They, they often blame Jimmy Whitehead. <laughs> or it's, I blame Jimmy. It's like whatever they said to him the night before could come back to haunt them. Jimmy stitched me up again. Yeah. Is generally the comment. And I don't disagree with that. I, uh, I fuel that fire. i got to admit, when, when I found out we were playing um, Matty Flapper on the TV rink, I, my mouth went a bit dry for, for a moment. Um, Can Anne get down here, Gus? Tell you what, it's close. Wow, what a it's bowl. close. Oh, what a bowl. Oh, what a bowl. What a bowl. <laughs> That's the calibre of these girls. Wow, we look at this. You said it does grip at the yes, end. Yes, look it at does. that. Look at that grip. That mm. is a great bowl. Great way to get on the board too. Don't be afraid to get on the socials this morning and ask some questions, post some comments. Maybe a, a story about playing these these great girls. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Something that we wouldn't know about, that we couldn't research. We've even got the sun coming out now, Gus. Yeah, it's lovely. See the hills in the background. So we had a few um, host clubs affected by the rain yesterday. Yep. Yarrigan, I know, uh, had to cease play. Well, when it when it rains, the greens are still playable, but they do become a bit slippery, especially down near the ends. And for uh, for um, the players' uh, uh, health and safety, you know, we've had to make the call on some of those. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. Safety first. So, talking about game plans, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. What would be your game plan in, in singles, maybe with your first two bowls? What are you looking to, to achieve? Um, well, I, I think, it, like yesterday, there was a t really tight side and a very, very big sweeping side um, I was talking to Pidge when I got home last night and he said I, he would have thought I would have gone the tight side and I said well I watched young Frank next door to me and he was playing the wide side and it looked alright and it was more predictable Yeah. Um, I think that's probably the first thing yep. uh, before you think about your two bowl strategies, what mm -hmm. side are you going to play on? I think that's crucial in singles. Yeah, especially you if know. you've got a wide and a narrow so what did you choose? You chose I chose the, the wide oh, you chose the wide? Yeah the big sweeping side in fact, um, Brad Lancaster followed me on that. But every time he had to convert, he switched onto the tight side and just came up and rolled my ball out and moved the kitty. And I, in the end, he, after about the fifth or sixth time, I said, Brad, why, why don't you just play that side? <laughs> he just smiled at me like he knew something that I didn't know. And I yeah. think that was the case. So That's generally the case, though. When you play a little bit of an upshot, it, it'll generally hold on the narrow side. Yep. So, and then after that, um, 
you know, you're just trying to group your bowls and uh, get comfortable early in the game. Try and get one of those first two bowls close, obviously, and take yeah, a bit of pressure off. I think off. you really need that, ideally, a mat width yep. with one of those two bowls. Yep. Not necessarily right on it. No. Just, just well, we saw I, a great example of that yesterday, yep. and I picked up on it late. Michael Stevenson actually prefers to draw most of his bowls a mat away and leave gaps for the opposition. Must be a Scottish thing. Oh, it worked so well for him too. Left the holes. Well, people are less likely to drive if they, it looks like you're not that close. Yeah. Especially in the men's game. I mean, if you just put them on, you don't give them any option. They're just going to hit it. This is probably one of their looser ends, Gus. Well, yeah. The mat's right back. Oh, she's going to be stiff here. She had fairly good weight there. Oh, one and a measure is the call from Lorraine. I favour two, though. Hand's going to stick to that backhand side. She's got a, a bowl of hers short, probably four feet, four and a half feet. She's got to navigate that or just slide underneath or find the hole. But she's had three bowls that haven't reached reach the, the kitty zone so she needs to be add some weight this is close if she, she's got to navigate that bowl it's better weight she has it's better weight now oh, that could be that's shot. close yes yes I'll be following Anne down here. She's just gonna not quite there. One to Anne Miles. That put now puts the score at four two in Gale's favour. You can see how Anne sort of visualised what she had to do there. She's probably two down. Um, she had to navigate. She had to be under that bowl, I, I think. And so she decided to try and draw to the bowl that's across the head, which she did. Um, those. Different ways to um, to draw a shot. Um, it's just about being the bowl at the end of the day. All right, we're pretty close to T to T here, Gus. Yeah, well, these two girls will know each other's games pretty well, as we said. Um, they're going to try and... Whether they go to something they think their opponent's, you know, weaker at, um, or they're stronger at. Let's see how she's gone here. Pretty good weight. Sun's come out, mate. Yeah. I was a bit worried before. We were getting uh, quite a bit of rain, and with the amount we got yesterday, we don't want to affect this uh, big day of singles. No, we've got the, we've we've managed to move everything through to date, and uh, this is probably the the last group we've got to move through until we get to the finals, which is very exciting. Well, we're talking about finals, a good question there from Alan. Where will tomorrow's uh, first day of finals be? It'll be at Terrelgan. Aren't we lucky to have the choice? You know. Well, 
what I'm glad about is uh, as soon as we get to the finals weekend, we no more outdoor greens. That's right. So no uh, risk of uh, getting washed out. Yep. We'll go through the lineup actually for finals weekend, which starts tomorrow. Lovely bowler ants, beautiful weight. These two girls are very deliberate in how they go about their games. Leave nothing to chance. They're just not jumping on the mat and throwing them down there. She didn't like this one. She thinks she's wide. Trying to give the ball a chance, of course. They can tell out of the hand, generally, what's happening when they put a good one down. The great touch and feel they'd have for the game. And s switched across onto the backhand. It's just got to run a little bit. A little bit more. What a bowl. That, that's all you got to do. Draw the shot. You can see by the finish, you'll, is, uh, this green's got a beautiful finish on it. It's last 10 or so feet. Yeah, Ryan Kearns was talking about that yesterday. Because uh, Michael Stevenson played the ditch side a lot. Right. What a great young talent he is. Oh. Super impressed with his singles game. This is a fair ball too. Yeah, that's the shot. shot. Now you'll see Anne play a little bit more weight. She'll, she'll want to at, at least reach the kitty or reach that shot ball at least, I think. Um, but knowing Anne, she'll just try and draw the shot. Um, she's got uh, three seconds there. So she's got everything to be gained by reaching. Looked like she added a little bit of weight. Let's see the, the swoop at the end. And that finish. Mm, great effort. Still one down. You know, another foot or two of weight means kitty time or bowl time. She'll be a bit disappointed. I think she wanted to add a little bit more weight. Just, just some ring scores here. Abraham six, Dolan two. Borton four, Flynn three. Martin's got off to a good start against Jean seven, seven to one. Uh, Fair eight, Kumari one. Proper Pattis six, Elliot two. And Margaret Hunt's down the other end there. She's one and. No, I, I don't think that's Margaret Hunt. Oh, it's not? No. no. I think that's a lady from City Memorial. Ah, oh, okay. And she's playing, I can't see it's. Mate, Waters or no? She's playing Mateos. Oh, it's Mateos. Okay, two one, tight game down there. I got to hand it to um, to Mobile getting all the markers for the games today. Oh, um, yep. You and know. actually, and it it's not not seen a full grain of Morwell members either. Yeah, it's players. It's that players are, that are marking. Absolutely, that's the fraternity, isn't it? They were rustling them up last night, and um, there's lots of famous uh, markers out here today. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I think we've got the uh, one of the uh, American ladies on the other green marking Julia. Yep. Yeah, I googled uh, the club right on the cliff side there in LA. It was great to just see them all on on watching the live stream yesterday. 
Oh, were they? they were yeah, the... Joanne played. Right. Beth. So they were all watching it from over yeah, there? Yeah, they were commenting all on the... Um... How great's that? Yeah, it's fantastic. International audience. We do get a few internationals watching. What was the, that score? We got someone watching from the uh, Sydney, from the Austral Eagles Bowling Club. Vince Calbrazzi. I missed that last score, Gus. A uh, one. To uh, Gail. Yep. Very shortly, I'll give you a rundown of how tomorrow is going to look. For anyone out there listening and who wasn't able to get down here this year, put put it in your diary for next year. Um, uh, this is a great event uh, to come down and get involved in. Um, you know, the f running two two in a year has been uh, um, a titanic task by the team at Bolsvik, and uh, they've managed to pull it off. Um, and we can't wait to to bring you know more and more people down this way next year and support the community and and get bowls rolling. It's a bit early for a prediction on these games, but in the words of Anton Samarach, he used to always say at the end of each Olympics, this is the greatest games ever. <laughs> it's been a really great week, hasn't it? Well, you, you've played a fair bit of it, Gus. As a player, how do you rate this oh. Victorian Open? Uh, the friendly games, you know, just, just everyone's just... You know, I think after the couple of years we've had, I just, uh, you know, and the fraternity only grows, and I use that word, it's like a family, you know, the bowls, you know, you, you, everyone's just, uh, you know. my brother came down and spent a night down here, and he said, I, I just love to sit there, I just like the feeling, you know, he was just sitting there watching games on his computer, just enjoying the ambience of the whole event, and he said, next year he'll probably just come down and base himself here, <laughs> and enjoy it, you know. And missed her first two wide, Gus. Has she missed this yeah, one? Yeah, she's corrected. No, she hasn't. That's shot. Mm. Can Gail draw this off, Gus? Uh, she's going to play. No, uh. she knows she's missed it straight away. Opportunity here for for Anne to make a two. She wasn't a million miles away, was she? But as she you knew. said before, <laughs> good bowlers know straight away yeah. whether if they've missed it or whether it's going to be a good bowl. Well, these girls are very good line bowlers, what I'd call line bowlers, and they know their line. If they miss their line out of the hand, they know straight away. Well, Anne's watching this. She's close. Just going to tickle through the hole, I think. Mm. Oh, did fall back. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's just gone through about a roll too much. Markers not giving us any indication. No, good markers need to stand there and wait for the players to uh, decide the situation. We are measuring this. <laughs> She's made her get down to... Unfortunately, if you want to, you've got to measure for it. And I don't think she's going to get it. No, it's, it was in by a centimetre or so. So uh, We were talking about markers yesterday. Uh, when you're marking singles and how important it is, um, you know, don't get involved in the game. Um, yeah, we, we you know. um, on the first game with Mal, we had a good discussion about what mm -hmm. good markers do. And it was, it was great to see the marker, who I actually just found out has just become an ITO, Rowena Smith. Right. She demonstrated exactly what good markers do. Where to stand. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about, oh, if you're not sure, yeah, it's a measure. 
and then sometimes you can give your opinion. Yep. It's a measure, but yep. I, 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 I feel favor. like you're yep. one down mm -hmm. instead of you know just making a call and not be sure. The other thing we're talking about is that the markets need to concentrate as much as the players because if you know it often happens that markets make errors. We're talking about whether you should keep your own scorecard. I know some players do. Um, we saw that in the first one. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, I've made an error. I, I've got to flip a board once in a, in a, a final, and the players weren't aware that that was what the score yeah, was. I, I mean... Yeah, I think good you know. markers have a routine. Yep. So once you've centred the jack, you then do the score, then you do the scoreboard, mm -hmm. and then really should only have the chalk in your hands. Yep. And where markers stand, someone was saying behind the kitty to the side? What's it has to be two... Well, it actually needs to be about two metres behind the head, right. so, which is actually quite close. You'll see one of the markers over there is probably a good four metres. Mm -hmm. He really needs to be two. Yep. And a metre to the side. Yep. I, I think to the side... Well, you have to be. You don't want that jack going no. into your legs. No. And I also, when I'm marking, try and be on the opposite side to which the bowlers are playing. So I'm not in there, you know. Yeah, there's no rule to that. No. I don't like to be in their vision. It's just a preferred thing. And the other thing with marking is, is being a, a ahead of the players and what they're going to ask. I think yeah. that's so, so you've crucial. Got a good marker will predict the question that's coming. Yep. And have the answer straight away. <laughs> How many times does the marker go and sit? The marker goes to sit down, uh, and you get a touch. They've got to get up and walk, walk up and mark the bowl, and you know it happens every time if you sit down. Sorry, the players are very close to they us. They are. So this is the closest I've seen them at to us. So we're going to just be a bit quiet. feels like we're right on the green with them, doesn't it? Well, if you want to know where we are, I would say we're probably two metres in front of the map, mm -hmm. directly to there, the left of Anne. It's pretty much that view there. Yep. See the tactics come into play. They're going to they're going to try everything out. Yep. To stretch this. This third bowl is so crucial to Gail. She needs to just land one to just take the pressure off. She's close. It's not going to get down. Okay. Third shot. nearly probably counts it does it's three she's watching this it's got to get down quickly mm -hmm. she can't believe it yeah, but I like how composed she is. It's, it's, she's not getting down on no, herself. She's no. just expressing it out loud. Yep. Um, and laughing about it. <laughs> I've just dropped a three. I wouldn't be laughing. And 
you know, it was a like a baby end, really, you know. Well, will Anne go a similar length again? I think so. You know, she's got the mat back. Maybe she'll go short back this way. Well, we saw that... Um Saw that in the first game yesterday, actually. Sarah Braybrook okay, she? Uh, was given a short end by the opposition, Joanne Hedgespeth. And then she she won the end and she liked it, so she continued to go short. But we are nearly back to she what we T to T. Mm. Lineups for tomorrow, Gus. We are starting with. The mixed pairs semi final. Yep. Uh, we've got Leonie Flynn and Phil Crowder. What a great pair they are. Yeah, and what a performance they did in the quarter final. Yeah. To make the semi. And then they are playing Kate Arjun Bowden and Ben Hubber. Great performance by them too. They've, they've, they've been very solid. Yep. So that. Mixed pairs final will follow later on. Okay. And then we've got the men's triples final and the women's triples final. I don't know whether you saw Ryan Kearns, Michael Stevenson and Thor play, but they were they love this green. Yeah. Yeah, they had a very convincing semi final win. They're gonna play the the Colin Vinandale. Andrew Daly and Nev Brown. Who also had a convincing win in their semi final. So both uh, both will give us a, a, a fantastic final. Uh, and then we've also got the women's triples final as well. Jill Hopper, Debbie Goran and Michelle Tate. They take on the Sophie Kurzman, Kate Arjun Bowden. She must... Going to have a busy day tomorrow. Yep. And Tris Doolan, who's playing next door to us. The race for the Barb Gilbert medal. We'll give you some scores. So, next door, Abraham 9, Doolan 3. Borton is 8, Flynn is 3. Martin is 12 and Sophia, Jing, is 1. Kamari, who just got through her section yesterday, is three and Fair is nine. Elliot is six and Carol Potapapas is six and Hunt is three and Mateos is two. And interesting enough, a real spread of, um, you know, uh, very experienced bowlers and then, you know, uh, Jing and Kamari, you know, are relatively new bowlers. So it just shows that... Um, even though they're new to the game, you know, they I know they're very they both train very hard and practice and just shows that you can you can um, you know bring yourself up to a fairly good level fairly quickly in this game. Well I think the uh, Abraham Doolan score is gonna change. Got a feeling Tris might be three down with Janelle to bowl her last. Uh, Trist just drew the shot, didn't she? It's in no, the... she didn't. Is it in the ditch? Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's just... She was three down. Sorry, that's the, the bowl. And yeah, there's the, the bowls uh... are quite similar. Mm. OK. All right. So Trist gets the mat back and she'll... Put her game yeah, plan into. Yeah, misread that. That's right. She might have been three down. Mm. There's nothing better than getting the mat back, is there, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. It's not like I haven't heard that one before, Gus. Generally, at the start of a game, they go, "Who's Matt?" And they go, "Oh, he's Matt." Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm Matt. Uh -huh. Who's on second? <laughs> Question about what, do we know what the dates are for next year? I'm pretty sure we're sticking with a similar timeline this time of the year. It'll be the week before Grand Prix. Oh, I'm looking forward to the Grand Prix. I hear you're going on Sunday, is that true? And Saturday now. Oh, 
Don't it's, rub it in. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> oh, talking about rubbing in. Oh, what a and bowl. gets her bowl up mm. and shot. I um, I used to l was right into Formula One and then went off it for a while. And then Drive to Survive mm -hmm. has just now converted me straight back to Formula One. Reminded you why you loved it. Oh, that That is one of the best series I've seen. Drive they, to they've survive. got it in golf as well. They do. And yeah, tennis. I haven't really. I have. I've, I've only watched one or two of those. But mm -hmm. The Driver to Survive. Yeah. I end up watching season four, then five. Yep. And now I'm even going back, back and watching one. And yep. I think the behind the scenes snapshots of any anything, but um, uh, the Formula One's a bit of a mystery. I mean, we all see the car race once a yeah. year here for an hour or whatever, but what goes on in the preparedness for that? is quite amazing yeah it's a tough business you've got to perform in order to keep your spot see at least we know that if we fail out on the green we get to come back and do this <laughs> Yes, I'll have to break out my Red Bull gear for tomorrow. That's where we are, so we'll be fairly... Yeah, I'm going to really feel sorry for you doing that. Uh, my kids are, are just... Because they, they love Formula One, and uh, they cannot believe it. That's a one to Anne. A very good one there. Puts the lead now 7-5 in Anne's favour. Gus, I might quickly duck next door yep. and get some scores cool. for us on the other other green. I'll look after the shop here. So other than the a couple of threes being scored, the rest have been singles. And Miles is now one of the last three ends. So that's if there's any sort of Any sort of pattern emerging that, that could give us an indication. You like to hold that mat and uh, for as much as you can and control the length and control the game. And likes to get that mat right back. Jack just uh, short of the tee. Just a bit longer than three quarter. It's got a fair start here. Position A. Gail will be very keen to slip one inside that. Yeah, it's on a great track. It's very close. Very, very close. Oh, that's a great home. She'll be happy with that. Very, very quiet out here. Everyone's concentrating and the games are in the balance. And Maddie's returned with some scores from the other side of the dome. Yes, we've got Neville. That's Jody Neville playing Vicky Smith. Jody's leading 15 3. Mm, strong start. Uh, we've got Collins playing Peters. Collins is seven. Peters is three. Kiss playing McCormick. It's a, a neck, McCormick. Kiss is seven. McCormick is nine. Another new bowler. Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, Annette played off in the Yarra 
novice mm. women's final. There you go. Just shows you. Mm. She's leading here. You might have to pronounce that one for me. Ingbeston. He's playing Miller. Ingbeston is 11. Miller is 8. We've got R. Smith playing Irene, Irene Adard. Adard. Irene's leading 12-11. I thought it was Sam Atkinson, but it's not. It's Cheryl. Right. And she's 3 and Shaw is 10. Amity Bickley doing well. 12 and Ange Hackett is 5. I actually thought this would have been the live stream game. Mm. Olivia Slade versus Sophie Kurzman. Uh, Olivia is 6 and Sophie's 11. Well, the youth get a lot these days. I think it's important that we support our uh, other generational players. Um, well, I, sorry, I saw I saw that. I probably didn't see the, <laughs> the Mackenzie. Yeah, uh, that exactly. Miles match. And I'm sure we're going to see a bit of. Um, we'll see the others uh, in games coming through. Uh, look, we're, we're spoiled for choice, really, um, and. Uh, We are looking to try and provide the best uh, games that we can to showcase the game, um, male and female, young and old, or older. Doesn't really matter. Anyone can play this game. And I'll be looking to get this jack back, Gus. Yeah, well, it was really crucial. And Anne's first bowl is that jack high one there, and. Gail, I think Gail's holding shot. She slipped one inside. It's very important um, that uh, Gail wins the end here. Anne's won the last three. Um, so. Oh, she might slip in here. No, falls the other way. It's a one to Gail. This is the other thing we spoke about yesterday in singles. Um, how important when you're holding and you've got last bowl to add. Yep. Or in my case, not to, not to hit your opponent's bowl up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real smart. This might get down from here, Gus. She's close. She's got to run. There oh, it goes. Wow, she there did run. There it goes. That is oh, amazing. What a bowl. That is amazing. We had a bird's eye view of that one. And we talked about that side just did. swooping Swing. a little bit. The replay of that. Just seemed to run downhill, didn't it? Oh, what a bowl. This is why these two are on the live stream, Gus. That's a vital end, I think, in this game, mate. Yeah, it's a good pick-up. I can see Lucas marking over there. Now, the marker can actually call a short end. Did you know that, Gus? Really? Yeah. If they think if they don't think the, len the length is legal, 21 metres, right. they can call it. You'd want to be pretty right if you're going to call it. I wonder if Lucas called it. <laughs> Is that a new rule? No, or? no, it's been in there for, a, yeah. I wouldn't be game to call it. I, I, as I said, I, I think as a mark, I try not to get involved in the game. Well, that's right. As I said, you, you'd want to be pretty sure. Yeah. It's maybe you just ask, pose the question to the players and don't call them. A lot of the players are going to question it anyway. Start here for Anne. Great start. Well, as a lead who rolls the jack not very well, um, I try, if I want to put a short end, and I wait till the, till the skipper's going to change the boards or something, slip it in there and get my bowl down real quick <laughs> before they can question it. <laughs> Doesn't usually work.
yeah, handy home. It's like a battle to get the the first two bowls, Matt, in this game is so crucial, I think. Um, they, they're setting the, the, the scene for what's going on. For control. Your mate Pidge has just picked up on some scammers that might have jumped onto our... I hope you're not driving pitch while you're watching the game. Out there delivering the the joy to the world out in country Victoria, Ballarat. I'm on first name basis with the parcel delivery guy at our um, at our place. My daughter seems to get something most days. <laughs> This is another thing about singles too. I don't know if that some people do it deliberately, but uh, following your third bowl down. Yeah. Yeah, Brad did it yesterday. Did he? Yeah. Most uh, of the time. Every time. Every time. He he's just so much the same. Yeah. I know sometimes I followed mine down, and not not deliberate to see. But then you get down there and you, you see things that you didn't notice. Oh, it was it was uh, it came down. It was like a locky tie thing that y you just you just go you'll see all that group. You know, they're marking their they're, they're marking their performance and they're following their third bowl down just to make sure they have the best view. We talked about that in yesterday's game one, uh, Joanne, who has connected with Lock and Lachlan Tie. Mm -hmm. uh, Joanne was. Marking all her bowls. She did probably follow a couple third bowls down. I think what you do in practice, I'm not sure whether they do it in practice, but I'm sure they do. What you do in practice, you do in the game. This is pretty close here. Ooh, a light touch off the purple, nearly got a result. I haven't seen the paddles, but you you think Anne would be holding two, two here, Gus? Yeah. She got the lightest of touches off that inside of the purple to nearly, nearly get the... Uh, Result. She didn't like. She chunked that one out, and she. Oh, in, I didn't. I thought it was all right, but she didn't like it. <laughs> Maybe it's a deliberate uh, blocker. Well, it can't be because it's her last bowl. Oh, true. So she's not happy with that. Got a real opportunity to add three there. Yep. If it is two, Lorraine. Well, it's Lorraine. It looks like two from yeah. the camera angle. Yeah. Uh, Trish Dolan starting to make some ground up. Six to Abraham, nine. A close one between Borton and Flynn, eight, seven to Borton. Uh, Martin Jing, Martin, 17, two. Bit of nerves there, I think, for Sophia, I think. But good experience, and the same next door for Fair and Kamari's three to Fair, 18. Um, I just think, you know, they're. It's like scaling Everest. They're just going to a different plane and 
you're going to slip back a bit to move forward, aren't you? you know, it's all experience. That's it. There's nothing wrong with playing the good bowlers. That's how you learn. Oh, they're putting themselves out there. I just think it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're, they're putting themselves out on a stage that um, is very exposed and uh, they're willing to uh, take the punches to f increase their learning curve. I know a lot who don't do it. It's also a real credit to be playing today because that means they've won their section. That's right. Yeah, they should be very proud of their achievement. It's always my goal when I come to the Vic Open. Win, win, win the section. Just get out of your section, mm. yeah. Uh, a lot will say that winning a section is harder than anything else, you know. You find once you get out of your section, you can it becomes an open draw. Mm. And it is an open draw now, the way it's done, isn't it? It's, you don't, you're not going through with your sectional partners, are you? Which I think's good, because, you know, you end up on the first day in a really tough section. You think, well, I'm going to have to beat all these guys. Whereas all you've got to do now is beat your section players, and then it comes open again. Yep. And you've got a chance to maybe have a, you know, get a, an easier way through. Because you don't have to beat everyone, just those you play. Sounds obvious, really. Oh, those scores are wrong. I don't know why I put a nine in there. So, she's gone nearly, it's T to T. So, I think then Anne is just moving the mat around incrementally, not not a lot, but just a couple of feet here or there. Um, I think that's pretty smart play. Ball here from Gail. Oh. What's Lorraine going to say? Yep, shot. Mm -hmm. Gail's got the yellow marker. Yep. Anne has the green. Rowdy jumping on and saying how happy he is. He tipped the dogs last night. I was close to tipping the dogs. What could have been, I don't know, is footy tipping three weeks in, I'm not... Well, talk about your first week in footy tipping, Gus. Oh, well, I... So, just to clarify, we have a BV footy tipping comp. Uh, great to see our board members have joined this year. Yep. How'd you go in round one, Gus? Got them all. <laughs> Got them all. Had been and a footy bonus point. And a bonus point. Not a bad way to start. What I couldn't work out is when I had a look on the ESPN tipping that we're in, there's 750,000 people in it. Uh, I was only 1,500th still, right, because of the margin. And apparently I did tip a margin, but if you don't, you automatically get zero, and that's how 300 of them pick, actually pick the card and the result. Really? So if you don't put a score in... You get zero and, as and your margin. Tie, you get zero as your margin, which is wrong. Well, that's right. It's wrong. No, yeah, correct. So that's how 300 people uh, okay. picked the, the card and, and the margin. I thought zero is not a bad margin to go with. Yeah, when you think about it. Especially if you if you tip the wrong team, because it goes the other way. Yeah. Well, you're covering both bases, mm. yeah. So, didn't do so well the second week, and now we're in the third week. I'm still batting zero. Didn't get last night's. Yeah, I got three last week. It's terrible. Oh, and I, I had to tip against my team. I had to go for yours this week. Don't like doing that. Well, it's rivalry week, yep. Gus. Is it? Yeah. In right. the AFL. Now, yeah, how's Anne going with this? Pretty good, because we know this will, this yeah, will pull it'll back. Yeah, go down a little bit. We know it'll grip. Oh, what a bowl. What a bowl. She was down two, was she? Yep. Yeah. Morning, Rhino. OK, 
go the pies tonight, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to sit at home, watch it with my wife and my mother-in-law tonight. I'm going to stay nice and warm and watch in the comfort of my own couch. Gee, Janelle next door has put three all within a mat. Great bowling next door. Yes, Tris has got some work to do there. Gail following Nan down. Let's see if we can predict this. It's certainly going to be there. Oh, I reckon she might have it. It's got to turn hard. Needs to get Needs down. Needs to get down. It was never quite going to do it, was it? It was close. Mm -hmm. She gave it a chance. Great right ball. And Miles. Jumps out to a three. Shot oh. lead in the race just drew, just drew a front toucher when she was three down. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And then you get that one down from the ITO and your heart sinks and you go, how's that? Wow. Yeah, she had a, th a two bowl target, so I was debating whether she's going to have a run at that or not, but opted to draw. Uh, the good bowlers trust their draw, you know. Um. She didn't even need to land on the uh, bowls. <laughs> There's a bit of perplexed look on the players' faces. It's like, well, what do I have to do? Wow. Uh, I've been in that situation where you've had three really good bowls and the opposition, you know, breaks your heart with one. It's frustrating. We keep talking about how, how much of a mental game singles is. Yeah. I think your first rule of singles is one down's one down generally is good. Yeah. See so Anne's got the mat right back again, but she's she's taken about ten feet off the off the length. We won't see any weight next door from Abrams because she doesn't own the tee, so... Forward player's got to keep that in mind. It's the respot rule. i tell you what, she's pretty close. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She just missed it by a cigarette paper and Tris marches down with a bit of a smile on her face going, that was close. <laughs> I'm a big one for when it's not your mat, just try and chill out, Gus. Mm-hmm. You know? You can't do anything when they own the mat to affect their bowl. No, Sam. Um, I tried to. Bowls, that's a great bowl there from Gail. You know, I'll generally courtesy pick up their first bowl of the game. Yeah, um, I like to do that. And I like to, I like to, when I'm lose, losing, I like to pick the kitty up for them or grab a mat for them, do something. Uh, there's a lot that don't do that. Um, I think that's important. Yep. Um, it also just keeps you bending and keeps you moving. Um, and it's just good sportsmanship, really. Yeah. Even Brad yesterday, you know, he had second last bowl a lot and I had last bowl <laughs> a fair bit. Um, yeah, he actually apologised, said maybe I should actually stay down here and 
and pick up the mat for a change. So I thought that was nice. I don't think he did it, but he did recognise that uh, I was putting my bowl down and having to turn around and pick the mat up a lot. I think they like to make you feel like you're working. Good tactic. Yeah. Great bowl here from Gale. Call was two and a measure. Sorry, one and a measure before, so it's now two and a measure. Very important that uh, Gail doesn't let Anne, you know, get another three ends. She's picked one of the last two ends again. Girls' game it tends to be a more purist game, isn't it? You, you know, you don't. They they are just backing their draw their um, draw draw game, and pure being that drawing is the heart of our game, uh, and the girls really do show that side of the um, that skill um, to perfection. Really, I think us guys we play weight because we can't draw. <laughs> Lovely weighted bowl. Yep, two down. Now here's an opportunity. Yep. Does she switch around? Yeah, she's she's thinking of yeah. She's yep, she's playing her back end. She's gonna try and she's got uh she's just gotta beat the uh, right hand side well, purple. Even if you get down and get on the jack it goes to her other bowl, it's yep. a three. Let's have a look. Just gotta hold a little bit. Just gotta hold a little she might backdoor this. No, that's a two to Gale. Puts the lead of Anne's now only to one. Stop the run of two ends in a row. I think in that case, when you're drawing, she should have made the right hand purple her focus. Um, it takes away running into the bowls then. Yeah, a little bit of a pattern there on the scorecard, Gus, mm -hmm. that... Kale, when she wins an end, uh, norm, uh, Anne normally wins it straight back. Yep. Yeah, Anne's, Anne's putting, stringing them together and, and Gail's peppering. Let's see what length she plays. She's brought, brought the mat up about th three or four metres. So she's playing something really, this is really more a three-quarter length. Joshy Thornton's representing Bolsvik today in the singles. He's uh, 10 all. Oh, go, go JT. I think he got through fairly comfortably, didn't he, yesterday? No, I'm pretty sure his second game, he, he was down quite a bit. And oh, and he came back. back. Yeah. yeah. Great ball here from Air Miles. Like, unfortunately for Kamari, her game is finished. Fair will be going through to the next round. One thing I have really noticed down, being down this way this year is it's really showcasing some of the great local talent down here that I hadn't sort of been as aware of. Um, whether they weren't going as much up to Shepparton, and I wasn't too sure. Um, yeah, someone who impressed me the other day was Wayne Taylor. Yep. Yep. Played with Cooper Krauss. Yep. Yeah, very, yeah, I played against him in the triples. 
And I'm pretty sure the lead for D from Stratford. Yep. Yeah, the Stratford teams. And Leonie's from Stratford, Ooh. isn't she? So it falls back there and in. I think that's in. Mm. Green paddle goes up, which is Air Miles. We need you on the live scoring, Benny, to give us scores from around the venue. I'll quickly go through next door is Abraham's 10 and Doolin is 7. I'd say Abraham's now 11. 7. Orton and Flynn are nine all. Jing's making a little... Sophia's making a little comeback. Yeah, but Martin's on 19. Yeah. And she's on six. That, that's a good case of, um, you know, just maybe trying to get to ten in that game and see where you see where it lies. You want to always leave a, a, a game with a little bit of respectability. Hand looking here, Gus. Just a bit Just going to be a bit heavy. This is that second end that Gar wants to string together, isn't it? Try and get her run going. She's gonna, she, she should come down on the backhand here. Oh, no, her forehand, I mean. Sorry. Yep, girls are lefty. Yep. She's got her bowl to use. Uh, she no no chance of knocking anything up there, other than her own bowl. She's just left it a bit wide, I think. Yeah, it does sweep from that side, but it's not going to get down from there. Uh, it splits up those three bowls, though. I don't think that's a deliberate yeah, play. I think Anne will just be looking to get on this jack. If you if the camera was down a little bit, we'd see that uh, there is another another. There was a group of three bowls oh. there. So Anne's looking to try and tickle the kitty or just land the bowl. It's got to work. Well, it's going to be lovely. Oh, it's a good mm. effort. Yep. It's two ends in a row for Gail. Yep, and that's not happened for a while. No. Gail started with two ends in a row. Mm -hmm. and then so it's 10 all, Gus. We've picked the right live stream match. We usually do. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to duck next door and mm. get some up, more updates on those scores. As the sun comes out and lightens up the whole place, it adds a whole nice perspective to this beautiful dome that we're sitting in. In fact, I've got two of them. Very much the future of the game. All weather. But you still have that feel of uh, open sides. Uh, so you've got the feeling of being outside, but uh, with the uh, coverage of a roof. Great start by Gail. That's what she, she's starting to um, find her range. With that first bowl, that's such a crucial bowl to get. What's Anne done? Wow. What a great start. Position A, if you haven't got shot, that is. Gail Edwards has put her prediction in for the game. She's gone for her own namesake. 
I don't know how you could pick it, Gail. I mean, this game is cliffhanger. There's nothing I've seen in this game that would give me a chance to predict it. It's been that tight. Look at this bowl. Look at this bowl. Run on. Oh, superb. Maddie's come back with those scores for our viewers. Yes, so Neville, Jody Neville is 19 and Vicky Smith is 7. Collins is 14 and Peters is 3. Kearse is 13 and McCormick is 14. Close here. She doesn't want to touch that bowl. Yep. What a lovely group of four, four bowls. Uh, Miller is 15. And how do we pronounce that before, Gus? Uh, Eng Engbeston. Engbeston is 14. R. Smith is 15. And Adard is 19. So a few games getting close to that 21. C. Atkinson is 9 and Shaw is 14. Bickley is 19 and Hackett is 10. Mm. And Slade is 13 and Kersman is 16. Some interesting results there. Look at this head. I oh. mean, she's put she's put the uh, the burners on. And still got a nice shot on. She's yeah. just got to get down to these this group of bowls. It will get down from there, Gus. Here it comes. Definitely get down from there. It's got to run. Maybe Again. too far. These bowls are so close, I don't think I could even place the bowls that close. And they've, they've, they've bowled them, believe it or not. What's the situation? Is Gail holding... One. One? I think one. I haven't seen any paddles. Gail's come down for a look. And followed her third one down, so she knows the situation. I mean, she'd love, ideally, Gail would love to get to that back purple, but there is danger in doing that. She really hasn't got a shot on the forehand either. On her backhand, sorry. Mm -hmm. So she's playing the forehand. Hmm. I think she's uh, kind of just gone to the back. Maybe thinking the jack might go yeah. over there. Look, it takes away an uh, opportunity, a shot that Anne may have played. Probably the worst that Gail can go down is one now. We're going to get a paddle paddle. Situation. She's having a close look. And it's two. Two. A two and it's a measure. Is that... Does that mean a measure for three? Or is that two, but it's a measure for two? No, no, it's two. And then she did the thing with her hands. So that means a measure for third. Yep. Third. Two and a measure. I've got to interpret these things. I'm learning all the time. <laughs> you are. I think um, Gail's prediction of the jack going out... The right of our screen is where this is going to go, Gus. Can it get down from there? No. Oh, it doesn't want to move that bowl. Oh, it didn't want to move that bowl. Out, I think three. What an end for Gale. Well, we were talking earlier that the first first bowls, the first two bowls, are really predicting the end. And again, Gale's first bowl was the one that's sitting shot. Well, we talked about Gale not putting. A string of ends together. And what's she done? Three in a row. And it's a two, one, three, six. Are we jinxes, <laughs> Maddie? Do I don't we, or think are so. we predictors? <laughs> well, I hope we're predictors. It means we're reading the game. Yeah. I 
don't have the Smith v Copley score. Sorry, Neil. Next door, we've got um, Abraham 11, Doolan 8. That Flynn and Borton game has been very close. Absolutely. It's 11 all there. Martin is holding shot, which is game. Sophia will need to stop this. Martin on 20 and Jing on 6. Carol. Protopappus is 14. Elliot is 8. And Matthias is 11. Hunt is 9. Morning, Casper. Definitely agree. First bowl pressure is everything in singles. And Anne's got a good first bowl here. It has been the predictor in this game, I believe. Oh, Sophia. Jing stops that. It's holding two. two. That's frustrating too when you're holding game. <laughs> and the opposition takes it away from you. Well, it's something I say often in this game. I'll just try and be a bit quiet because the girls are not that far from us. I'll wait for Anne to play the ball. Um, when you get when you play a game of singles, you actually have to get closer than your opponent. No one gives you the game, do they? Like you actually have to work to win the game. You don't just turn up and so there's the example. There from Miles. Martin was holding the game and uh, Sophia had something to say about it. Yeah, but it's frustrating. <laughs> I've been in that oh. situation where you're like, you, you, sometimes I can't watch. I'm just watching S Sophia put the mat down. She's, she's put the mat up. She's using a tactic even though she's 28 down. She's not giving up. It's great. She's a very um, uh, ambitious and um, deliberate player. Like when she's going, she's a bit scary with her ability. Well, Sophia's just put the jack in the ditch. Mm. We've seen that a lot on this green. The best laid plans of... No, I think I, even next door, I think we've seen three or four of them. Mm. Maybe I've, three by Tris. I've found the um, the ends of these greens quite slick. Okay. Good information. This is going to get down from here, and I'd say that's three to Anne. Great way to, great way to reply to three in a row from Gail. I'll predict Gail will uh, come down on her forehand and uh, trail or land the bowls. She knows that if she can string another end together, that'll put a little bit of distance between her and Anne. Oh, yeah, she doesn't want Anne the opportunity to get four. No. Watching the face, she's looks a bit concerned. She's not sure. No, I think she might get the jab. I, th I think she's got the weight to get up on the bowl. Here it comes. Oh. Mm. She was lucky in one way, but a bit stiff in another. Situation there, Gus. Three down. You reckon? Oh, the kitty did go back, though, didn't it? Let's see what the marker... Uh, two and a look. Here goes the marker. Three. Three. Mm. She had the right off the bowl. But she didn't quite get the uh, kitty in the middle. Changing hands, Gus. 
looking to beat Gale's last ball. Tris Doolan making a bit of a run there. She's now only 10, 12, just two behind now. And she's got a front toucher on. It's a good call from Anne here. What's she looking to do, mate? Well, she's changed hands. She's gone forehand, looking to beat Gale's last. She's, well, it's heavy. Makes it 13 all, Gus. Well, if you're paid to see this game, you're getting value for money. I just saw Jimmy Whitehead enter the building. Yes, he's here. Great man's here. Did you watch the um, Flapper v Shannon quarterfinal in the triple? Uh, sorry, in the in the pairs. Uh, yes. How good was it? Yeah, it's great. It was um, super, um, super bowl. It, 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 I heard the wor words "world class" being used by the people watching it. Anyone who wants to go back and look at that. It's well worth uh, it's well worth the watch. Great ball from Gail. Uh, the leads put on a super performance. Oh. oh, Janelle next door just stopped a three from Tris. That's a great game next door. Mm. But Tris will be happy the way that's rolling along. She's uh, got herself back in that game. Look at this, and and oh, Miles reply, front nearly front nose up, nearly. We use the term "nothing's ever safe." Nothing's safe with these girls. Well, it just makes Anne's first bowl look good too. She's reply close. Here from Gail. She's very, very close. <sighs> oh. Okay. Well, she's fattened that head up now. Um, she'll be happy with that. Man might be too unhappy if she gets onto her own bowl and jack back a little bit. Sophia's holding four over there. <laughs> Those orange bowls stand out. So this is a big bowl being played here by Martin. Yeah, and that <laughs> how hard is it to and get that last shot? She, unless she's got it, she's Oh, oh she's what a ball. Got it. Oh no, she's still one down. Down. opposition. She'll go a little bit, she'll add a bit of weight here, I think, just trying to use those bowls, get a bit of a bounce off maybe that purple one. It's running on a good line. Oh, it's great weight. It's running on a good line. Great she's weight. very really close. She's it. close. She's, she's oh. got it. She's got it. What a bowl. And acknowledge that. Yep. Good sportsmanship. Oh, my God.
And look to get a close bowl up a little bit here, Gus. Yep, a backer. A backer to play similar bowl to what was just played. Land the bowl for two. Well, she didn't like it. Oh, well, she hasn't given up on it completely. Tell you what. Tell you what. Oh. <laughs> she wanted. She knew. You know. Again, they know their lines. Um, yeah. She. She wanted the outside line, off the purple, down onto the bowl. Gail's not playing this, Gus. I don't think. Uh, don't blame her. <laughs> And I'll just carry it. Anne's giving her the ball, saying, why don't you play it? Come on. They're having a chat. This is, all, this is lovely, isn't it? Now the start of a little run, do you think? Card's starting to look a bit different now, isn't it? Yeah, with Gail strung those three ends together. Six shots. <laughs> Great sportsmanship between Anne and uh, yeah. Gail, isn't it? Well, they'd play state together, surely, so, you know, they'd know each other pretty well. Is she looking here? Just a Just little bit through. Run it. You know, the pressure's just mounting, isn't it? It's just, they know the game's meandering towards its finality. And no one wants to make the first mistake. Because they haven't made any mistakes in this game. The oh, bowling's been, been outstanding. Contest. Outstanding. Chris might have picked up a three next door, Gus. Uh, Bowled by Gail. Sophia's down game. Let's see if she draws the shot. She's close. She's there. Oh, oh runs into no. her bowl. Oh. Oh. No. That'll be Martin through yeah. to the next round. If it had fallen in, it wouldn't have been too far away, would it? Tristy pick up a three next door. So puts Doolan at 13, Abraham at 12. Well, yes, she's been stuck on 12 for a while, hasn't she? That happens in singles games too, doesn't it, Gus? Yep. Great bowling from Gale. Uh, 
haven't really seen who these players will meet in the next round. Well, they'll they'll swap them, won't they? Or or they'll all move into here. Yep. So we will completely get rid of one green yep. this morning. Uh, and Miles just yeah. draws the shot. You know, and she and she does it with the th she knew how vital it was with the third bowl. You don't want to be waiting to your last bowl. Um, takes the pressure off, gives her an ability to make two out of it. And very frustrating for your opponent. <laughs> Kale's thinking. Mm. But she's got a trail on here, mate, for four. Well, Amity Bickley's through. And Amity will be meet, meeting the winner of Olivia Slade and Sophie Kersman. Kersman. Mm. Irene Adard is through. And she will meet the winner of Atkinson and Shaw, and that was going the way of Shaw. Mm -hmm. 14 9. Shaw yeah. was fighting back. Jodie Neville is through as well over Vicky Smith. Can any. Draw a second shot here. It's margin wide. I'm not sure it'll... It's trying to grip. The weight's very good. Yeah. Would have liked to have added. She's nodding, yes. So the, the winner of this match will play the winner of Flynn and Borton. At the moment, Borton is 17. Flynn is 13. Uh, yeah, Flynn's holding one. The head. Carol Prepatis is 18 11 up. She's going well. Against Elliot. Yep, the winner of that will play Mateos and or Hunt. Hunt. Mateos is 13, Hunt is 10. 14 all, Gus. This is all building to a uh, great finish. Make a prediction from here. I think I said earlier I couldn't. I, 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 I you know, like I could, <laughs> but it'd be like my footy tips. I'd probably get it wrong. Um, I, it's just swings and roundabouts, really. I felt an end or two ago that Gail was moved into the ascendancy, and now it's sort of swung back a bit. Anne's, Anne's control of length uh, and where she rolls the kitty, it's almost like it's the same, exactly the same spot every time. She'll be pretty happy with the way her game plan's going. So Anne's won nine ends, Gail's won eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, Anne was pretty disappointed she didn't add another one with that last end she gave me the look her weight was good and she was just marching too wide and those ads are so vital in a game this close when you've got the opportunity well talking about opportunity can Gail add that mat I think she has she's just got to clear this bowl 
Very good. Yep. And did it with her third bowl last end. Can she do it again, Gus? Both bowls are about a metre and a half in front. She's Good. just asking the marker how far short those two shot bowls are. Yep. What sort of room she's got to draw. Good question from Casper John. Yes, these are all timed. It's the final bit of each discipline that's not, not. timed. Okay. Two and a quarter hours is the time limit. Yeah, I was talking to a bowler last night. Oh, can this get around? Oh, tap it up. Oh, it's oh. going to fall in. It has. Oh, it has. She knows she's a bit fortunate there. She had mm. good weight. As they say, good result. Yep. Uh, time games, and uh, you've got to manage your time. Um, if you get timed out, then you've, something's uh, got to be quickened up. Yeah, we've found most disciplines will get well under the time limit, but yesterday we had some singles getting timed out. Um, how are we looking at that time? Oh, we've still got 30 minutes to go. We actually, actually talked about yesterday, Brad, getting a uh, time clock on our display. Hmm. Be nice to see. A little bit like the football. Countdown clock. Well, for a long time we never saw how, how much time we had left, did we? No. Then they changed it. They flipped and flopped on that one, haven't they? Mm. I mean, the benches are telling them how much time they've got left these days anyway. And then you look at that game last week with the with what would have been a deliberate out-of-bounds kick, but the siren went just before the ball went out-of-bounds, so that meant that it wasn't a deliberately out of You know, that's, <laughs> cost a, that's cost him a game, you know. All right. And looking to beat her. She's Last ball for shot. It's she's close. She wants to get to that back ball of Gales. Oh, it's shot. She's going to... She's done it. Two. It's interesting, Maddie, when you're skipping. So the front purple bowl was shot, right? And yeah, I didn't realise that. I thought the back yeah. one was shot. And it's like, what, a foot and a half short? Yep. And when you're, when you're calling for your third or whatever to play, you know, you add, a, you add a foot and a half. But actually, they could add three feet, which Anne's just done, and still count. Um, people forget that it's the distance um, behind as well. Mm. Um, so, you know... It gives you more room for variance. It's that circle around the um, jack, isn't it? Two, uh, two is gold here at the minute. Gail's got to just slip slip one in there. Oh, she's grimacing. I don't think she likes it, Gus. That would mean she doesn't like a line. Lorraine put up two paddles. Certainly one shot. Mm. Okay. Well, not a lot of damage done there. Uh, 
Uh, Tris Dawson's match uh, against Abraham, 14-12. Tris is up and Tris is holding one at the head. No, I think she's got a one. And they're both going for a toilet break. So that'll make it Doolan 15, Abraham 12. Borton, who will play the winner of Doolan Abraham, is 17, Flynn 13, but holding three on the head. Leone will need to cut this down. Calls have come on, get the jack. Oh, oh she, she did. has. Sats made one, but one's, one's a golden and Three time. down. Yep. Mm. Oh, Air Miles. I, probably, I agree with you, Graham. I, th I think Gail has been probably more consistent, but I think Anne will just get this in a close one. I'll make it a prediction, Gus. Well, that's what we get paid the big dollars, is to go out on a limb, isn't it? <laughs> if Anne's watching this tonight, I'm going for her. If Gail's watching it tonight, I'm going for her. Yeah, just sit on your fence, mate. <laughs> Casper just talking about our major sponsor for the Victorian Open, Henselite. The pop-up shops have been fantastic. You've done a roaring business. Yep. Just Dawn's got a back toucher on. She's ramping up the pressure over there. A lot more players using these tri-colour or bi-colour bowls, aren't they? You see a lot more. I've seen a lot of... Lot well, here. you were talking about this the other day. It's, it's, mm. It gives you an indication of how the bowl's going and how, if you've got the right weight. The revolutions, yep, yep. For adjustment, you can, you can see them rotating. I don't think she'll get down from there, will she? Uh, she's been... It's not a bad home. See, Gail, I'm surprised she's not getting onto her forehand here. Um, she's sticking with whatever plan that she's playing. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. She can easily roll her own... Well, not easily, but can roll her own bowl. Yeah, she I goes the forehand, but electing the backhand. I mean, she's going to prove us. No, she looks wide. It's it's just it's just holding there. Oh no, it's getting down. Mm. Okay, I think that's. Um, she's played some good bowls on the back on the on her forehand down the down the ditch side. Well, Gail, if Gail, oh, sorry, if Anne Miles can get Gail's bowl out, mm. he's going to be holding, and stay, he's going to be holding three. Uh, she's going to, yep. She's lining up forehand. She, she'll, she'll just want to draw one here. Um, she won't be playing any trick shots. I mean... But it is an option underneath, isn't it? Mm. So she's taken that safe line. It's a better line. Yeah, better line. Come on. Got a grip. Yep. She's got it. Mm, yeah. She's got a flop in, I think. 
good bolt. Gail's down there. She'll know the situation. Marker saying one to Air Miles. Yeah, I think if that bolt fell back, that would have been in. Okay. You gotta flip you gotta flip onto the forehand, roll the bowl just under the bowl, draw the shot. Thank you. Going down having that look really confirms I think confirmed to her what she needed to do. Mm. No, she doesn't like it. I, I love watching their faces. It's, it's hilarious. Still watching it. She gave it a chance. That's a beautiful weight. No use being uh, wide in that situation. Well, three ends to Ann Miles. Mm. Three ones. Puts the lead now 16-16. 14. Talking about time, we've got 20 minutes to go in this game. Also talk there about toilet breaks. 10 minutes, isn't it? Is there a time limit? In the to uh, for a toilet break? Yeah. Oh, you think you'd have to be... Uh, yeah, for sure. Can't be half an hour, can it? It's all about good sportsmanship, Gus. You, you can't be delaying play by deliberately taking a toilet break. Mm. And but you notice the game next door, the toilet break probably went for about three minutes. Yeah. Yes, I guess. I guess if you're in the toilet for longer than that, it's, it becomes an injury, <laughs> an injury break because you've got a problem, you know. Might have to uh, in the break have a chat to Bobby Carlson about that. Yeah. I if someone I was feeling. Ten, I think your ten minutes is is spot on there. Right. We had a, a, a player roll up late, unfortunately, for the game yesterday. But they were sort of just on the 15 minutes late. Um, but they didn't have the uniform on. Um, the suggestion was get your bowls on the green, so you're there, and then go and take a toilet break and get changed <laughs> um, within the rules. We had a couple of changes of venues yesterday, so there was a little, not a little bit of confusion, benefit of the doubt situation. We're trying to make sure everyone gets the opportunity to play. Great ball for man. So this game started at 9.30. So 11.45 will be our finish time. Yeah, well, you know, there's a bit to go, isn't there? Mm. Just... The constant pressure that and sort of applying might be starting to take a little bit of toll. It's been a very even game. Has. Yes. Look at that. This could be the the end.
That's a great bowl. That relieves a bit of pressure. What's she playing here, Matt? I think Anne will be looking to get this ball out. Yeah, I think we might see... She's got, she's got three seconds. Yeah, I think it's time. You got, if you've got three or two seconds, you'll be getting balls out. Yep. She's lining up forehand, forehand for it. She could go either way, but... We've not seen any weight in the game at all, other than good weight. Seen a lot of good draw weight. Anne is looking at this. Close. How's she looking, Gus? Under. She didn't have the weight that was required. She'd be annoyed with that. It was. I think she, she was looking for it. Turned a lot, didn't it? Big opportunity for Gail to um, add another one here. Track, Gus. She like it? I don't mind it if it runs it's a little a bit more. Uh, great track. Yeah. Just another twist in this game, Gus. Stopped Anne's string of three ends. And it oh. puts it at 15, 16, Anne miles away. Proud on cue. There you go. It's We've just, we ask for it and we get it. Oh, I know. I think I was asking for kiss cam the other day for Jimmy and JT. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 in a heart? In a, yeah, a yeah. Fl floral bouquet or something. <laughs> interesting they just have a little chat with each other probably knowing that time is of the essence how, how long has the sportsmanship been ah oh, brilliant in this guy Trish dolan has got the mat again next door she was 16 12 she must have got something there that is a very good question, oh. Casper John. You are all over it. So, in the conditions of play, Gus, mm -hmm. when the time limit has been reached, if the jack has been delivered, mm -hmm. that end will be played. Right. We are in knockout stage here. So, if it's if that end of that end makes the scores a level, there'll be an extra end. Right. We Not the golden bowl. We can't. Well, that'd be nice. Mm. We can't have um, tied games in knockout. No. There, there must be... There the were tied games, I think, a couple mm -hmm. in sectional. Yep. Sarah Ashby will be communicating that with the players. Yesterday she gave them a 10 and then a five-minute warning. We're getting to that point now, aren't we? We are. What's about five or six minutes at end? Seven minutes? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, Tristool and 19-12 up, so she skipped away there. She's really... Um, and looking to draw this. What I noted, the good players find another gear, don't they? They have another gear to, 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 to move up to from us mere mortals. OK, 
Kyle looking to beat his last ball. Watch his high there, yes. Gus. Lovely. Good wake, but just... Less than a foot, shot ball. Backhand is the call from Ann Miles. <laughs> she made two here. We have seen some balls get down from here, Gus. A bit of a grimace. I don't really mind it too much. No, just not going to get down. Bit heavy. Mm. So she knew she she had the line. That weight was just an issue. Gail will draw another one here. It's an opportunity for her to level this up. Oh, she's only one behind. Mm -hmm. She's already levelled it with a. She's brought her line in. Shot ball. How's her weight? It's looking pretty good. Looking very good. Oh, oh, it's close. That's that's just gone through. I think. What's the marker say? One. One. She had the weight to land the purple though, didn't she? Oh yeah. Anne's talking to herself. Come on. I think she likes it. Oh, I don't mind this, Gus. Yeah, I think she'll get down from here. I think it's just going to go beyond. Beautiful effort. Oh, I thought it would get down further. She she really stared. I was, I was watching her expression. She liked it. Gus, we're at 16 all. Uh, 16, are we? Yeah. yeah, two ones. Yep. To Gail McKenzie. What's our time clock at, Brad? We in red time, Brad? We haven't heard our 10 minute warning. No, we haven't. Here we go. Sarah on cue. Has the mic and the stop. She's doing a great job, Sarah. Sarah Ashby. Look, she's been amazing. She's done a great job. I don't know how old Sarah is, but she's uh, she's. I'd say early 20s. Early 20s, well, credit to her. Hasn't been here for long. No. And been asked to look after the Victorian Ope. She's giving the uh, players fair warning. I think we might have an issue with the PA. Yeah. Because usually they'd just do it on the PA, wouldn't they? Yep. She's just... So the question is, if we have a... If it's tied at the end of the time, I'm pretty sure we're going to extra end. Can't have a tied match in a, in a knockout. No. Jimmy's over there as well. We've got quite a few ITOs here too. Gus. And this 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 just is another distraction for the you know, like it's it's like it's going on around the bowlers and they and they're starting to think, oh right, okay, there's another impediment to this game and you know, I've something else I've got to think about and and subsequently they've put you know, two bowls for them, not as close as what they've been getting them. They've got to just concentrate and keep that um, concentration levels up. 
That's a good bowl by Gale. Should be happy with that. So next door, Tris Doolan has finished. 18 all between Flynn and Borton. Borton. And a uh, three. Is it a three? No, that'll be game if it's three. Must be two. Yeah, maybe it was just an errant thumb sticking out there. Mm. And just sailing through a little bit there, making sure she's there. Here's a real opportunity for Gail McKenzie, though. She's got the last two ends. She's holding shot. Chance to draw a second and really ramp up the pressure. She always looks like she's not too sure. I think this looks all right. No, I think it's good. If anything, maybe slightly oh, through. Get okay, get jack. through. Get through. That's good. All right. Game on. And sticking to that backhand. She's got a... She does have a bowl to navigate around or underneath. Chasing her third bowl down. Pace. Got to ease up. It's got to ease up or land the bowl. Mm, okay. On to Gale. Close to the jack again, Gus. Well, the good news is there's room to draw. There is. The, the head is open. The bad news is she could be what? No. One. Lorraine saying one. It looks uglier than that, but they're a long way back, those back poles, eh? Yep. On the screen, showing a bit better. Line She's up. persisting with this. Backhand. 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 She doesn't Maybe she thinks she can get her own ball up or under. I think of. under. I mean, she's got to draw it. How are we looking, Gus? She's under. Well, oh, she's got the ball. Two rolls oh, needed. She rolled it twice. Yeah, that could be enough. That could be enough. That's a very good poll. Uh, yeah, green going. She's got the green paddle. So the last end, that's it. What's that? This is it, Gus. Is that time? That's time. And Matt's not down. Yeah, and it's a win to M. Miles. With that roll, deft roll of the ball. So players knew the situation. And we've got 18 all, Flynn and Borton Finished still the going. End and we haven't delivered them the. Yes, we do. Yep, so they can finish that. Can we get the um, camera to look at that? 18 all on the Borton Flynn rink, rink 11. Uh, there's two bowls to go, and time is done. Um, Borton's holding one shot there, the uh, purple bowl. She's about to put her last bowl down. She'll try and add another. Uh, Flynn's got the bones to the back. Am I calling all that right? Well, she doesn't want to touch that too much. Yep, that's better. Okay. Well... It's make or break. She probably got second shot, so bowl can go or kitty back. 
or draw the shot. Over on the far rink, uh, Hunt has got up over Mateos. Yeah. Elliot and Proper Pattis are still going, 1917 to Proper Pattis. Uh, again. Well, that, that'll be their last end. Oh. It's happening everywhere. So. Elliot needs two. All right, we'll focus on this Flynn Borton, this last bowl. What's she playing? Oh, she's got to go... Bowl or kitty? No, oh, she's going backhand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just... Well, it's, if, it's, if the scoreboard's right, it's 18 all. She so just needs shot. So, kitty back's good. Uh, bowl out's good. I think she's got second shot, that front white. Sit on shot bowl. Playing a bit of weight. She's looking at it. She quite likes it. She wants to got get it. Jack? She's got it. Oh. Yeah. Um, not, don't go out, though. I don't think it's gone out. No. Wow. That is amazing. She was watching that like a hawk. So the kitty's sprayed out, and she's holding two. It doesn't matter what she's holding. It, she's holding. Well, that's if the scoreboard's right, That's Gus. true. We, they only do the scoreboard every second end. Well, I don't like that. I'm a great believer in scoreboards being done every end. Well, they're measuring for this, so this is crucial. Oh, I think they've already taken two out. Yeah, but it, they wouldn't be measuring if it wasn't didn't mean something, would it? Mm. <laughs> this is part of the self-regulation of our game. They're just working together. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> They keep pointing to, dip, like, just measure to a bowl. There's a lot of, obviously, a lot riding on this, this, this measure. It's between that purple and the front white, this one, and I think white's going to be in. I think uh, three. Uh, two. I think Leonie Flynn has got it. Great work, Gus. Game one. Yeah, I oh. feel like we've just done three games in. We got three <laughs> games worth of value in one there. What a great way to start. Yeah. Day eight. And we're not even at the finals yet. No. For no. singles. This is still knockout. I know. All right, we'll keep you informed. I'm not quite sure of our next game. Um, I'm sure that'll be all over our socials, and we'll see you at 12.30. Yep, looking forward to it. See you, everyone. Anyone thinking about getting a roof, your whole system will change. Right down to social bowls and pennant. At a board meeting this week and approved 22 new players. They really have been perfect all the way through this build and they've looked after us really well.